Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion from Jason's Brain 2, who asks, What would happen if Earth rotated on a perpendicular axis, so kind of like Uranus? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and load up the performance simulation, since this might require a time lapse. Maybe not. Here we go. So, no Kuiper Belt, no Dwarf Planets. Just the main planetary bodies and a few stray asteroids, which won't affect the simulation much at all. So I think this was pretty easy to do. I think all I had to do is just use the edit tool and um, perhaps rotate it around like this. There we go. So how should this orbit? Um, I don't think it's going to be tidally locked, I just think, uh, kind of be, going to be like, uh, year-long days, kind of. The sun's only going to be on, like, one side of the planet for about half a year, so I don't really know. But let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. So here it is rotating, and it's actually freezing. I don't think I've moved the planet at all. I think it's still orbiting at one astronomical unit. But for some reason, it's actually freezing. Temperature spiked down for no reason at all, and the simulation just kind of bugged out, so I'm just going to zero out the temperature and let it naturally get up to the temperature it should be at, and I'm going to enable climate so we can kind of see what's going on here. speed up time a little bit just to kind of show what's going to happen so it's going sunlight is now hitting what would typically be our south pole Okay, so Antarctica is actually showing some of its uh, natural land mass right now. It's not completely frozen over. Go to view, we should be able to change the lighting to flashlight and kind of get a better idea of what's going on. The sun is currently hitting that side, but as you can see, if I pause the simulation here, like all of Eurasia is kind of frozen over and there is snow in Africa so this side of the planet is very very cold all of North America is absolutely covered in snow some South America and the Sun's gonna start warming it up so let's go ahead and play and watch what happens as the Sun starts warming up the northern hemisphere which is well I guess still technically north if the magnetic field decides north and south like that still so very interesting. Uh, it would be a very, very difficult climate to live in for us. Uh, we'd have to survive in very, very freezing temperatures and very, very hot temperatures during basically half the year. A much more extreme sense than we already do, so there'd be some pretty significant temperature fluctuations from this. But as you can see, the, the North Pole and a lot of the northern continents are defrosting. Let's go ahead and pause the game again and that's what it looks like right now. So it's still quite a bit fr more frozen than it typically would be but it's thawing as it goes through kind of its I guess t summer phase. But yeah basically I don't think uh too much is going to happen, it's just in the areas where it'll be darker, which if I change it back to realistic lighting, that side is currently freezing over and this side's heating up. It looks like our North Pole has basically thawed out completely, and now we're going to see some crazy hot like days and stuff, like areas where it's currently illuminated, such as Africa, are probably hitting around, who knows, maybe like 150 degrees Celsius or even higher, so... Basically, we're just not having any nighttime to cool down Earth. It's going to be very extreme during uh, 
half the year. It could be even upwards of like 250 degrees, so... Yeah, basically it would be pretty inhospitable in certain portions of the planet during half the year. It's going to be very, very inhospitable again once it orbits around and all these northern continents actually freeze over. So, there you go. That's kind of the answer to the question. I don't really know if there's too much more to say. I could do a time lapse to see if life actually survives on Earth. So, let's go ahead and just speed up time and let this go for a few years. But I think it'll still be green. I think life will actually survive. I'm sure ocean life would not really have any... Uh, huge effect other than uh, the waters would definitely be warmer and who knows maybe these major temperature fluctuations might cause for some pretty crazy looking storms or something as the there might be like tons of hurricanes and stuff where the uh, shadow starts uh, casting over the now warmed up waters on the planet so that's kind of an interesting thing to think about but I think ultimately life would certainly survive, and the game is saying yes to that. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe, it really does help. And, uh, I figured I'd mention something, since it's happening a little bit more commonly. I'm not really going to accept suggestions that are not on my Universe Sandbox 2 videos. Like, like I said, my Space Engine suggestions go on the latest Space Engine video. That's the only way it's going to turn up in the next episode. If you post it anywhere else or on older episodes, I'm not going to see it. It's not going to be looked at. The same goes for Universe Sandbox 2. Keep them exclusively to the Universe Sandbox 2 videos. So, yeah, I figured I'd mention that. Uh, I, I might may be making like an email or something for purely Universe Sandbox 2 suggestions, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.